Hey, hey guys, it's Brianna Maddox here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be bringing you a very much needed um, bookshelf reorganization. So I have been talking about on my bookstagram that I really need to redo my bookshelves. I unhauled over a hundred books during quarantine because I and plus I just really needed to update my bookshelves. There were so many books that I just didn't need to hold on to anymore. So I kind of have let my bookshelves <laughs> kind of get a little crazy. I did redo them, you know, over quarantine and everything, and I really did like how they looked, but I kept taking off more and more books, and now I just have gaps everywhere because last time it took me, it took me probably half a day to reorganize my bookshelves, so this is going to be fun. I already plan on redoing my bookshelves this weekend so when you're seeing this it is the very last weekend of June so I am already going to be doing in my Facebook groups Queens of NC and Queens of Mafia we're doing a virtual signing so while all the authors are going live and me you know supporting them and stuff I'm just gonna you know spend the day well I shouldn't say day because it's Saturday and Sunday uh, redoing my bookshelves and you know reorganizing everything but I wanted to go ahead and do a quick intro because I didn't know if I was gonna have time to film one and plus I look mostly decent <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna also quickly show you guys what my bookshelves currently look like so I'm apologizing now it's a hot mess. I've got stacks of books sitting right here because these are all the new books that I've gotten, books that I took off my shelves. I think it was last weekend when I took some bookstagram pictures, which also when I say that now, I totally forgot that I probably should have done my bookstagram pictures today, which is Friday, because when I do my pictures, I take them weeks in advance, so I don't have to take them every weekend because it is such a long process, but it is what it is. Oh well. So I am going to quickly show you all of my bookshelves really fast, just so you can kind of see what they look like now and how much they're going to change. I kind of have an idea of how I want to reorganize them, um, but you know, as I kind of go through my shelves and stuff, um, I'll explain a little bit more but I hope you guys enjoy um, I always love seeing people's bookshelves and seeing bookshelf tours and reorganizations so I really hope you guys enjoy this but so naturally my camera battery is about to die you know what else is new um so I have this like floating bookshelf above my bed which I normally do not touch because there's so much weight that is on this bookshelf but I am planning on redoing this bookshelf and I'm actually going to possibly do kind of like a rainbow historical romance shelf so we shall see I kind of have them all scattered around my bookshelf a lot of them which I mean you can't tell because there's books <laughs> sitting in front but this bottom shelf right here is pretty much full. It's double stacked um, with historical romances and such, but they are pretty much scattered all throughout my bookshelf. So there's that. Um, this is kind of how I've been um, organizing my bookshelves is they're double stacked, but the front layer, I guess, has more books on display and there's a little bit more of kind of like a Tetris pattern, if that makes sense. Um, but before I do that, I have my TBR cart, which I do keep books on. Um, I still have some of my books that I've hauled recently, but okay, ignore my closet, but I also have books up here, which these are predominantly like my YA books that most of them I haven't read yet or I just literally don't have the room I am actually gonna probably move the majority of these and put some on my bookshelves you know make this more so the books that I don't want on my bookshelves and you know all that kind of stuff so these are gonna be moved around some of these are gonna be on my bookshelves so I'm gonna be moving these um, and then obviously you know my bookshelves and such this one is kind of like a special shelf for me it's my dark romance you know MC mafia shelf 
Um, I have a lot of books that I've gotten, you know, over the years and such. So, honestly, I don't think this shelf is going to change much. I, are, I mean, there's really not much to change about it, I guess. I kind of want to play around with my shelves. I, honestly, this may change, but yeah. So, what I'm thinking about doing is... You guys can kind of see how they're all at like a uniform level, how each of the bookshelves are all at the same level, if that makes sense. You know, like this is all one shelf, you know. Some of them, like these two bookshelves, they're bolted down. I don't know if you can tell, but we had to bolt them down because these bookshelves are from Walmart. They are about $30 um, bookshelves. Seriously, I mean, they're honestly awesome. I've had some of these bookshelves, you know, since 2013. So the fact that none of them have, you know, caved completely and with how packed, you know, I put them, it's just... <laughs> we tried to bolt them down, but as you can tell, it does not help, um, which is fine. But what I was going to try and do is like some of these that are not bolted down, I kind of want to do kind of like a staggered shelf. So maybe move like this shelf up a couple pegs because I think it has like five different, you know, pegs or whatever. I may try that out. I don't know. We'll see. But I kind of want to change up the way my bookshelves are just organized I guess but I kind of have quite the stack going y'all I don't know what happened this year but anyway I'm gonna stop rambling so I just wanted to quickly show you my bookshelves <laughs> I want you straight up. I want you straight up. Don't want you made up. I want you straight up. No filter. No filter. I want you straight up. No filter. I want you straight up. Right when you wake up. I want you straight up. Think you're so sly when you lie You don't even look me in the eye when you lie All you do is look up in the sky when you lie You don't even need a reason why when you lie I rarely believe you, I barely can see you I see your disguise, see fear in your eyes So why you're so private, you always on silent Got nothing to say, cause all of it fake I'm here to expose you Yeah, too many half-truths, I just have to Sick of your fibbing, I'm sick of your fiction All of it nothing but figments And I used to listen, but I know better now So this time it's different yeah, I can see right through your bullshit I want the truth by the time you told yeah. it You know how it goes She's putting on a show Yeah, you know how it goes Now you see her And now you don't Yeah, she's so fictitious Snapping pics like she's on a mission On her knees, she must need a licking Instagram is her new religion Instagram a new true religion New beginnings with happy endings Relentless, pretentious Is she living? No, just pretending Is she buying it? Just make believing Is she buying it? Just make believing Misleading, deceiving Mess around and you'll get deleted Mess around and you'll get deleted Look around and you'll see right through it Look around and you'll see right through it yeah, Ask around and nobody knew it I want you straight up I want you straight up. I want you straight up. I want you straight up. Don't want you made up. I want you straight up. No filter. No filter. No filter. I want you straight up. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. I want the truth. I want the truth. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. 
I want the truth and nothing but the whole truth. Tell me the truth and nothing but the whole truth. I want the truth and nothing but the whole you. Tell me the truth and nothing but the whole truth. I want the truth. What happened to the old you? Tell me the truth and nothing but the whole truth. I want the truth and nothing but the whole you. Tell me the truth and nothing but the whole truth. I want the truth. What happened to the old you? You know how it goes. You know how it goes. She's putting on a show. She's putting on a show. Yeah, you know how it goes. Yeah.
je te vois, mon cœur bat. Love is intense, je serai là toujours pour toi. Love is intense, quand je te vois, mon cœur bat. Love is intense, je serai là toujours pour toi. Love is intense, quand je te vois, mon cœur bat. Love is intense, je serai là toujours pour toi. Love is intense, quand je te vois, mon cœur bat. Love is intense, je serai là toujours pour toi.
over Shifting Gears, and Shifting Gears is actually one of my favorite books ever. So I, think, I think a lot of it has to do with how Bash evolved, because he's a lot like Blake. Um...
organization um, bookshelf kind of tour I honestly this was such a stressful and time-consuming project and I don't know the bookshelves in my mind did not turn out how I wanted them to but it's fine I don't think I'm going to be redoing my bookshelves anytime soon. I'm hoping that the next time that I do anything with my bookshelves, like a big project like this, is when I do move out. I do hope to eventually get my own apartment and, you know, start that. Uh, but yeah, so I am going to quickly kind of show you guys kind of like a quick little bookshelf tour. Um, especially since the bottom of my bookshelf they're double stacked which means there's books behind it I'm not gonna pull them out and show you what's behind them just because I've already been mushing with my shelves all weekend and I really <laughs> don't want to mess with them at the moment but yeah I honestly I mean it is what it is a lot of these shelves stay the same which is not a problem but I'm glad to at least kind of reorganize them a little bit more, especially with kind of how my reading tastes have been changing lately. But I had a, I mean, I did have fun reorganizing my shelves. I do love to do it. It's just a very time consuming project and it just stresses me out because at one point I literally had books all over the floor and I'll start looking at shelves and I'm like, oh, I, you know, I want to change it this way and I want it to look this way. So I need to pull off those books. And then I'm like, wait, no, 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 I need to focus on the shelf that I'm working on right now. So my mind was all over the place, but I also apologize for the horrible lighting in any future videos. I'm sure you guys have seen, especially with vlogs and stuff, the lighting in my room is absolute trash. I do not like it, but it is what it is. I have a ginormous tree in front of my window because it's like the front of the house and it is huge. I don't regret that it, you know, cuts out all the sunlight and the heat and everything, but when it comes to filming and, you know, taking pictures, <laughs> it doesn't work. Um, so I apologize for the really horrible lighting, but I mean, I, I don't know what else to do. If you guys have any suggestions about how I can fix it, I honestly, I don't. I don't know what to do it's just <laughs> kind of is what it is but yeah I mean I hope you guys really enjoyed me reorganizing my shelves <laughs> so this is definitely my uh, shelf that I am the most proud of I decided to do a rainbow bookshelf of all of my historical romances I definitely realized doing this just how many I had I didn't realize that I had this many um, but I'm super proud of it. This is the only shelf that I feel comfortable doing a rainbow of. And I'm very thankful that I had enough to make a rainbow out of this. But super proud of this. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So fun. Okay, so this is going to be the shelf that is the most trickiest to do. But I just have a bunch of my, you know, kind of like favorite YA books that I don't necessarily gravitate towards. Don't ask why I have a Christmas tree. <laughs> I just do. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Um, just a bunch of YA books. I'm a fan. And then Shadowhunters, Game of Thrones, all of that good stuff. Okay, so b before I quickly show you guys this shelf, um, this is the bookshelf that is the most hardest to access, especially when you get down to this very bottom shelf. I usually have um, my step stool and my little desk thing, which is actually on my bed. Um, but this is the most difficult shelf to access, so honestly I'm surprised it's not as full, but yeah those I kind of keep the books that I know I'm not necessarily gonna grab for like books to grand pictures and whatnot but as I show you guys kind of how I decorated it it's gonna be kind of hard to honestly show you because this bookshelf is completely in the corner and it's just it's tricky
Thank you.